I get asked this question quite a bit. Well, I get asked many questions quite a bit. But this one in particular. Why should I become a CCNA? Hey, why should I get an A+, plus? why should I get a Network+, plus? why should I get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree? We live in a society where paperwork, certifications, degrees are ammunition. Certifications have, gives us ammunition to go into the workforce, say, hey, listen, I have a basic understanding or depending on the certification, the level of certification, especially a Cisco certification, I have a pretty good understanding on the concepts of networking. So I have been tested and proven that I know what I'm doing. This is the reason why you take certifications. This can only help you when you are going out there looking for jobs that Hey, I'm Cisco certified. I'm a CCNA. I'm an A+. I'm a Network+. Plus. I'm a CCIE. That's it. They, there is no questioning once you get there. Because in order to take this as CCIE, all of you know that not only do you take a written exam, but you take an eight-hour exam, hands-on, live equipment. So once you get to that level, there is no questioning your knowledge whatsoever. So these are the reasons why we need these certifications. And in today's society, one of the good things that's occurring is that now certifications are becoming just as strong, just as strong as degrees. Now they're seeing that, hey, a person who's certified, especially a Cisco, just like Microsoft certifications, they're very specific to what they need to know. They know their way around routers. They know their way around switches. They understand the segmentations. They understand the concepts of networking. So definitely, definitely, not only go through a course just to say, hey, I went through a course, I passed it, I got an, a B or an A, whatever the case may be. No, you gotta prove it. You gotta sit down, take that test, get that certification, and say, hey, I am a Cisco certified network associate, I am now part of the professional world of Cisco. So, do you need to take that certification? Yes, you do. So, that's my answer to that question. I'll see you in the next one.